largest and most populous country in the world, China, where I grew up. Hi, I'm Li Jing in Central Park. Can you show me how, how to do it? <laughs> the commissioner is going to show us how to paddle the boat. This is a mini dress worn by Miss USA. Zhang, how do you describe it? When you are in Zhang Tui's beautiful dress like this, you feel like you were transformed into a princess. So let's head to the love panel, okay. So Lee, tell us about, uh, tell Warren and his girlfriend what couples in China do. Touching certain parts? There's certain parts, <gasps> there's certain points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. As for Angelina Jolie, she has worked with UN for three years. Uh, can you speak to our audience, what I just told you? Oh no, okay, wait, whisper to me. Ni hao. Okay. Ni hao. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There was also I love you, but I <laughs> Yes, that, that's say that for later. Whiny. Yeah, can you say that to camera? Well, what, what am I saying? What does that mean? <laughs> I love you. Oh, God. <laughs> What's your advice to people who wanted to do something that is unthinkable? Like, what is that? Well, keep your dream going. It might happen in America. Have you ever thought that you can reach where you are? No. no. Whatever you do is unthinkable. And I also want to give a shout out to Jing Lee, who has been a huge, huge asset to our show here. Terry Newton in See Texas. I'd like to thank Bye, my mama too. Bye -bye. Right behind me are thousands of fans here at Prospect Park in Brooklyn to celebrate the 51st birthday of Michael Jackson. 跨越多元文化，见证人生故事。Well, I guess I have to say this one. Have you ever been to China? Uh, yes, I have. Where? Guangzhou. Yeah, yeah. How do you like China? I love it. I love it. What do you love the most? Um, the most? The party, the karaoke. <laughs> I like that too. And the necklaces, right? The necklaces are, um, you know, are something I love. The leaves are all um, part of my dream. 昨天对北美东岸的五千多万人来说，绝对是黑色的星期四，黑暗的星期四。对，因为昨天下午四点十一分的大停电是美国历史上最大规模的断电。Yes! Oh! Oh my God! 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 Oh, thank you, Emma. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. It's actually pretty easy. Thank you very much. <laughs> basically, one suit, yeah. three different looks. You can have the cuffs. You can have it without, and you can have it without the jacket, which you can just go out from work to party. Exactly. How can I have better sense? <laughs> <laughs> you never had sex? No. I don't know, trusting each other. <laughs> Where is the capital of China? Where? Not Bangkok. The Summer Olympics? Oh, oh. Olympics. Oh. oh, okay. In okay. China. In China, China. China. yeah. Yo, where? Right there. <clears throat> where is Seoul. China? Seoul. Seoul, China. Seoul. No, the Korea. The capital of China? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Beijing. Uh, Capital America. Oh shit! What is the Capital America? New York. What? Oh. <laughs> Washington D.C. <laughs> Jing in Central Park. Dragon boat racing is a 2,000-year-old tradition in China to commemorate the death of a popular poet, Qu Yuan. Master, how do you feel about being here and being the one blessing the dragon? Uh, I feel very exciting and very happy. Yeah, uh, because uh, the long uh, uh, this one. Master says dragon represents the Chinese culture and thousands of years of history. Now we have Di Tang Quan. The Dragon Boat Festival is one of the very finest events that happens in the entire city and all the parks. By dotting the eyes, the ceremony brings life to the dragon. It's really cool. They're it's very really elaborate big. and yeah. very pretty. There is the opportunity to learn about Chinese culture. Really, this is what makes New York great. Look around you. 
Four out of every 10 people you see was born in another country. Six out of every 10 people you see, they're, they are, or their parents were born in another country. So we have always been a great city of immigrants. We welcome other cultures. And it's great to just learn as much as I can about you know, our heritage and what we're about. It's the best. And it was free. When do you get that? You know, it's tough times. It's good to have, it's good to have fun recreational activities for the whole family. Have you ever been on in one of I the boats? I have been on a dragon boat. I have, I've tried it out. It's a lot of work. I did it on a very hot day and um, I got sweaty right away. Can you show me how, how to do it? The commissioner is going to show us how to paddle the boat. Close to the edge of the boat. Okay. And you have to dig in and do this in. You have to get it deep. And you have to do it at the same time as everybody else. And if you do it for a long time, yeah. say more than 30 seconds, it gets very tired. You have to be in good shape. Okay. But uh, I'm in fairly good shape. I've done a lot of kayaking, you know, so it comes somewhat naturally. But also you have to listen to the drum beat. And if you want to go faster, it's slower. And everybody is short on the beat. Do you know um, how to say hello in Chinese? Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Say uh, Happy Duan Wu Festival, yes. which is this festival. Yeah. Um, you say Duan Wu Jie Kuai Le. Duan Wu Jie Kuai Le. Very good. That's, that's awesome. Thank you.